Welcome to Venusian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be a message from the higher realms. So I want you to cast your gaze over the cards and ask your higher self which card has a message for you. We have pile number one, pile two, pile three and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi, group one. Okay, so for this group, the first message I'm getting, I keep looking at this card and it's like I see this as you untangling yourself from certain energies and patterns. For some of you, I feel like there's been some sort of release of karma, of um, past energies. It's like you're ready for a brand new journey or a brand new cycle and I feel as though because I keep hearing for this group your luck is about to change so if you have felt stuck trapped especially in your finances and in your love life um, in connections in relationships that's where this big shift is happening it's like things are going to be starting to move forward with three of coins and queen of coins I see new opportunities in terms of business it could be financial career um, having new new kind of like downloads from spirit in terms of your skills, your talents. Um, for some of you, the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, like a really solid commitment in connection, in relationship, a beautiful home life. It's like everything's coming together. And it's like with the Six of Coins, if you felt like you were in the desert period or phase where like things weren't, things weren't flowing to you, things were stagnant, um, you couldn't gain traction, for some of you, if you felt you couldn't get a connection to come together, if you felt like you were trying to manifest love or an opportunity to connect with someone in the career front, that's what's coming together as well. It's something you've prayed for, I'm hearing. So it's like coming into a really um, prosperous time because I feel for this group, there were lessons you had to learn during or through a period of solitude, a period of I just heard a period of denial. So some of you may have felt like your wishes were denied or, you know, they're not coming in. They're not going to happen for me. But it's like that was temporary is what I'm hearing. And it served its purpose. That wasn't meant to be forever for you. So I feel for many of you, you are going to be really blessed, but you may be kind of surprised because it's like, um, like, over, it doesn't have to be necessarily like overnight success, but it's like, going from darkness to light or struggle to ease, um, you know, limitations around finances to so much abundance. It's like, yeah, there's a huge duality between the last cycle and what you have experienced in the past versus what you're about to experience now. And Spirit is saying, like, you are being blessed, but you deserve this. I feel for this group, you have done that work. Um, but it's like, I don't know, there's just... You, some of you are giving birth as well. Like again, you could be giving birth to new conditions in your life, but for a select few, it could be a literal birth as well. But I'm just getting this sense of like dreams coming true, wishes coming together. And it's not just in one area of your life. It's not only, you know, connection or relationship or career. It's, it's every facet. It's like the floodgates are opening. Yeah, it's like there was something to learn I'm hearing from going without. I'm hearing going without made you go within. And for some of you, there could have been some healing that had to take place emotionally. And it's now that you've kind of done that work or you've been on that journey, it's time to either reconnect with the world, reconnect with a person or other people again. It's like time to come out. Above three coins, you have we the hathers, deep love, Mother's milk, birth is a portal. So again, I feel like you're going to be blessed. If you felt like you weren't being recognized, I see you getting a lot of, not that it matters, you know, external validation, but there's a sense that you are going to receive an influx of validation, praise, love, kindness, generosity, everything that's been withheld from you or you felt like you couldn't gain traction with, now it's flowing. Sitting above the three of pentacles, this could also be a skill or a career, a business, a project that you were trying to get a foot up in and with. And it's like now you're, now you're being blessed. Now things are moving forward. You have above king of cups, activated earth, 
power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. Yeah, it's like spirit is guiding you. It's like trust the, the flow is what I'm hearing because you're about to, you know, the song that's playing in my mind, it's um, from Pocahontas, just around the river bend. You may want to look at the lyrics because there's something like, there's something just around the corner, but, and it's going to bring so much happiness and emotional fulfillment, but you may not fully be seeing it coming right now. With Queen of Coins, you have integration. I feel for this group, you've learned a lot of skills as well when it comes to having to navigate certain challenges in your own life. And it's like you've integrated those lessons, you've integrated the wisdom. The frequency of integration supports our embrace of every aspect of ourselves, allowing what we perceive as positive and what we perceive as negative to harmonize in a balanced symphony of life. Yeah, things are balancing out. For this group, in this incarnation, you were here and you may have desired to experience the extremes. For example, it could have been the extreme of lack of finances, lack of flow to extreme abundance. There could have been um, isolation or disconnection to the most beautiful, loving connections you've ever experienced. There's some sort of duality or dichotomy and we all live in a realm of duality, but for this group, it's going to be really pronounced like that this was my life before such and such and this is my life now like this transition in terms of cycles are drastically different you have alchemy as well but i do feel you've manifested this the frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation for this group, you've had a lot you had to transmute, um, karmic ties, karmic patterns, ancestral patterns. Um, it could have been like negative, I shouldn't say negative, but you know, karmic challenging relationships. Uh, it could have been as well karmic patterns around like lack, um, around love. Yeah, because I, I was getting that sense of you, you broke something, you broke a pattern, you broke a belief system. Um, you broke a karmic imprint and that's what's bringing some of these shifts with the Hierophant, you have tantric journey, very strong theme around love, work, career opportunities and finances and love and home and family. The frequency of tantric journey helps us to unlock the, the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another. What did I say about you had to be go without to go within? That's what I was hearing. And this kind of emphasizes that. It's almost like you couldn't have certain distractions in the physical and in the 3D while you went on that inner journey to find wholeness, to heal some of these shadow attributes, to heal some of these patterns. You have exiled illusion of separation disconnect isolation and it's, it's sitting above the ten of cups this is what i'm saying like darkness to light feeling completely separated and alone to having you know the most beautiful supportive loving relationships there's a huge shift for you you have emotional freedom vulnerability flowing rebalancing yeah, and with that King of Cups there, you've had to do so much healing work. With that healing work inside of yourself, Spirit is saying, as within, so without. Because your inner realm is now flowing, because your inner realm is healed, all of this abundance, these blessings, these people, opportunities can flow to you because you've you got yourself out of knots is what I'm hearing. You healed from childhood patterns. You healed from the past, the imprints that other people left upon you, whether it was you know, their thoughts, their feelings, their ideas, you're able to separate yourself from, you know, the judgments of other people or their impressions of you, who they told you you were. And it's like, that's making all the difference as well. And it's like, because I keep hearing as within, so without, because you're balanced internally, mentally, emotionally, physically, all the areas are perfectly in alignment your life is moving perfectly into integration and alignment. And it's like I'm hearing spirit applauding because you did such a beautiful job. Some of these blessings as well, for those of you who resonate with being star seeds, are coming from your star family. Galactic guidance, star family assistance, cooperation. It's time to have your, your community, your soul tribe. It could be for some of you a very significant soulmate union and connection where you really love and honor and support each other 
but it's like it's coming out of hiding or coming out of isolation, coming out of the shadows into the light. It's like you're ready to receive and you're ready for this level of connection. It doesn't matter whether it's romantic or platonic. The work you've done on yourself has enabled you to show up in a way where you can have really healthy, healed, beautiful connections where, you know, imprints or memories from the past could can no longer throw you off course or drag you down, drag you backward. And I feel like had this come in too soon, that may not have been the case. Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group two. Okay, so the message is really strong for this group. What I'm hearing, I keep looking at this box and I'm hearing there's a box inside your mind that's telling you that you, that you can, you can't achieve the fullness of your potential, essentially, or what's waiting for you because I'm feeling for this group there's so much success there's huge amounts of this ten of pentacles of abundance available to you especially for a particular idea um with this nine of coins I keep being drawn here like there's a light bulb moment there's some sort of idea or vision you have in regards to your career your purpose your potential it could be like a business or a project and Spirit is saying, this is going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles. But with the Seven of Swords, it's like you're like underselling yourself or you're, there's a narrative in your, in your mind, your an inner voice that is trying to tell you that you can't attain this. For some of you, it could be an external voice. It could be a family member, a friend, or someone that's just kind of been very negative around your potential, your dreams. But spirit is wanting you to know this is your potential. This is what you can create. This is what you're here to do. So there could be this period where you're kind of healing or letting go of any self-limiting thoughts, limiting thoughts or energies of others where you're distancing yourself from them. So they can't kind of, I'm hearing, mess with your psyche, mess with your mind or leave you feeling like, you know, you can't achieve something, you can't do something. Because, yeah, with Seven of Swords and Five of Wands. And again, for some of you, this could be past energy. This could be like, you know, family or friends or people in the past that kind of, you know, scoffed at you or just thought it wasn't realistic and that voice is now internalized. It'll vary. But I just keep hearing this isn't true and what you're here to do and create is so abundant. And it's like spirit is helping you to strengthen um, your confidence, your inner voice, that inner dialogue with the page of swords and queen of swords. So it aligns with truth because what you're here to do is going to be very powerful and has the potential to influence a lot of people. What I'm hearing for some of you is your, your words, your communication can help people leave the box leave the matrix, transcend, self-imposed limitations, heal, um, yeah, ascend essentially with this three of wands. But it's like you're first within yourself, you have to leave behind any of these limiting fears, these energies, these vibrations that aren't in alignment with yourself. Mm. I, I keep hearing... Um, What's the song, Don't Give Up? It's got Kate Bush and I think it's, is it Peter Gabriel or something? There's a sense of like really persevering, making sure your self-talk is really gentle so that you don't kind of become disillusioned or give up or doubt what's meant for you because spirit's coming through really strong telling you, no, no, like this, this idea, this light bulb, this dream was placed in your heart for a reason. This is what you're here to do. Um, if, if there's been a period of stagnancy too with this hangman, it's because spirit is helping you align your thoughts, your, your inner world with what you want, what you want to attract in the physical, but also what you deserve in the physical. Yeah, I keep getting that sense. It's like, and I keep hearing, don't give up. And I don't know if you felt in the past, like, oh, I've tried to make progress with this dream or I don't know, like I've tried to kind of move it ahead, but it wasn't moving. There is an element of divine timing as well, but I just keep hear, hearing it's like it's time to step up. There, there's some sort of ascension and growth happening within yourself and in your own life that's enabling you to step into this energy and to reach higher levels of, you know, success, fulfillment, abundance. Starkeeper, cosmic ancestors see the light by staying grounded 
And then you have forge, don't follow, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. You're here to be seen. I, I feel for some of you, you could be a little bit frightened around the level of potential that you have. Like that, that seven of swords energy could be like, you kind of talking yourself out of, you know, shining too bright or, you know, being seen, being visible, being in this vibration. But it's spirits like, no, this is what you're here to do. Like this is your path. Mm, but it may also require you to kind of go it alone or there could be periods where you don't have a lot of support around you because with the seven of swords, people either haven't been supportive or, you know, like that energy of having naysayers, those that try to talk you out of your dreams or tell you, oh no, like this isn't right. Or, you know, like try something else. I just keep getting that sense of spirit saying, no, like you can't give up. And again, this will vary for all of you, but I really feel I'm speaking mainly around your passions, life, purpose, career, something that generates abundance. Um, yeah, like I keep saying, you're here to lead other people out of something or you're here to awaken them, open their eyes. There's something significant about what you communicate that can free people. And again, that could be in a variety of different areas. It doesn't only have to be in the capacity of a healer, although you do have a healing effect. Like even if you work in finances, there's something around your energy that turns a light on for others. It helps awaken their passion. It sparks something in them. It creates an awareness of what is or isn't working in their life. Yeah, and Spirit's saying like it would be such a shame for you to give up or walk away from this energy because there are a lot, I feel for this group, there's just so much potential. Yeah, soul time as well. And you may have had to have a period of time where you were away from others with this sitting above the five of wands where you have to, had to, or currently have to be your own cheerleader, where you haven't been able to fully depend on others or others just weren't, they're not privy to your, to your dreams, to your knowing and what you're here for. But spirit is saying the time is now to step up. So it's like, there's a sense of, okay, now you're ready. You may not, for some of you, I'm hearing, no, I'm not ready. Some of you may not feel that comfortable, whether this is in the spotlight, being seen, broadcasting your voice, putting things out there, creating something. There's just a sense of it. So it's like, no, you're ready. It's time. So we have the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporeal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. Yeah, it's like time. the time is now is what I'm hearing because you have emergence. Sitting above the Ten of Pentacles, like for this group, I don't think you can even fathom how abundant you can be. Like for this group, you're such powerful manifestors, but I, I don't know if you fully believe it or maybe there have been people around you who have like put negative thoughts in your mind, told you that it's not possible. There's just a sense that spirit's like, no, like you can do this. We have the frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with a childlike attitude of innocence and wonderment and to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. Yeah, it's like you're emerging like that butterfly. I feel that for this group, you've been through a lot of cycles of ascension and growth and healing and spirit is saying, yeah, it's time for you to be seen. And with that page of swords and passion, it's like you're bringing that passion, that fire out into the physical or you're being encouraged to do so. The frequency of passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies a hidden gem of insight, balance, and calm. It assists us in finding the balance within this intensity, moving us from chaos to the calm of its core, where we can let its long-lasting wisdom fill us up. Beautiful. Yeah, and also 25, 7, 34, 7. So you may be seeing 77 or 777. Again, I'm hearing divine orchestration. There's something you're doing or you will do in the physical around your career and life purpose that is instrumental for the spiritual growth or the uplifting of the planet and people on this planet. That's what I keep hearing. And spiritually wanting you to to believe in that as well. Like if you are struggling or have struggled with self-doubt, disappointment, they're like, no, you wait and see what you create and what you achieve. You have liberator or sorry, liberation. 
power, fulfillment, self-attainment. Again, there's something about you liberate yourself, but then you help other people escape that matrix or you help other people liberate themselves from limiting thoughts, limiting emotions, um, the feeling that they can't do something or they can't achieve something. It's like you help. Yeah. It's like you help level people up to that next level. You have the guardians sitting above the nine of pentacles. I'm hearing you're protected and your work is protected. We have shielding, defense, warning. Some of you may not feel completely safe, like being visible, like, oh, you know, I don't know how I feel about having, you know, people having access to my energy or, you know, if, if people are watching me and focused on me, am I still going to be and feel safe? And spirit saying, yes, you will. But you, there's almost extra divine protection around you because there are some of those fears or doubts or energies. So spirit is wanting you to have faith that the divine has your back. You are taken care of. Um, you know, you can trust the positivity as well, uh, is what I'm hearing coming toward you. Like you can trust the people that, you know, are really sent your way, the people, because there are going to be a lot of people I feel that support your work or love what you're doing in the world. And it may not be right now is what I'm hearing. There may be a period of time where you do have to walk this path alone, but I keep hearing, don't give up. Yeah. Magical realms above the hangman. The magic is about to start happening. We have belief, confidence, and co-creative co power. But the magic is about to start happening, I'm hearing, because you're reaching a point, especially when you weed out any limiting thoughts or people that are kind of dragging down your your mindset. I feel as though that's when you're, you're really kind of setting things in motion. You're moving into this energy, um, and that's when you really see the, the tangible results. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group three. So for this group, this central card means truth. And I feel looking at the Ace of Swords judgment, I feel these are the cards and energy of like an awakening of certain things really dawning on you, new levels of experience in the physical um, yeah, like I, I just feel for this group, there's a lot that's either coming to the surface or will be coming to the surface. I'm hearing as well, don't be afraid of, um, solitude right now because you're going through, I just said going through a portal, but it's like a, a healing portal. There's something that you're kind of transmuting. There's new insights. There could be memories from past lives, um, uh, past lives, your past. There's just a lot coming up that you're going to kind of examine because I feel like you're examining each one of these ties. These can be patterns, beliefs, past thoughts, and then kind of cutting yourself free from that. So there is a sense of um, recognizing the truth within yourself, within your life, within certain relationships. Um, you're going to see, because I'm, I'm hearing like a 180, like darkness, light. There's a sense of you're going to see the world in a completely different way. I'm hearing over the next three to six months. It's like the veil is being lifted. For some of you, this could also pertain to psychic or intuitive abilities where they are being enhanced or you're able to see something more clearly from a soul, uh, from a soul perspective rather than simply from a more like physical or tangible place. So there could be um, realizations or truths that come up from that. Mm. And with that five of coins, again, I do see, I'm hearing like, don't be afraid to spend time alone. You may be called to really go within. Like I'm hearing like meditation, journaling. Yeah, like this, this wheel is going to turn for you. The wheel of fortune, eight of wands. Change is on the horizon, but it's like you have a brand new uh, perception of yourself, of your life, of this uh, 3D reality or the physical that then initiates this new cycle. And I'm hearing right now is the time to kind of be with self, to go within, to not fight this process of healing and alchemy. Because when you come out of it, that's when I feel like you're going to be ready to take charge. It's like, okay, now I'm, now I'm moving, now I'm firing on all cylinders. You know, it's time to kind of forge ahead. You know, the two ones as well, like you may decide through this awakening and certain truths that come to the surface, it may lead you on a path that's drastically different to the path you were on previously. Like you may decide you want to start or do 
or have like a brand new life that, you know, where you've been or what you were doing is no longer really fulfilling or rewarding for you. So you want to kind of, they're showing me someone like veering off on a new trajectory. Um, so there, you are moving into a time where there will be a lot of change, but it may not be quite yet. Like there may be a little bit longer before, or uh, there may be another period of kind of solitude, healing, rebirth, growth before kind of taking that path. With that nine of wands as well, I feel like you will enter a time where you are feeling very passionate, very inspired, you know, really in that energy. But like right now, things could be very still. They're showing me like the ocean, how on the surface it looks completely still, but there's so much life teeming underneath the surface so right now there's a lot happening for you spiritually and energetically even if it doesn't appear so on the um on the surface yeah and it's like spirit is really wanting as well for you to trust this process even if it's like not where you would want to be right now or if you feel like it's taking longer than it should that type of energy spirit saying like trust trust the timelines trust spirit trust yourself yeah, surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Yeah, you're going to enter a time as well where you're feeling far more joyful and you're noticing more of the beauty. That could be the beauty in nature, but most importantly, I'm hearing the beauty in yourself and your life, like what you truly want for yourself. I feel for some of you, some of what you're leaving behind when you veer on this new course or this new trajectory are things that kind of tied you down or left you feeling kind of depleted or um drained there's just this sense of no like i i deserve more for myself or i want more for myself i'm ready to receive more so i have lost lands soul memories and gifts you've done this before again there's a, a lot of healing happening on a cellular level at a soul level some of you may literally have past memories coming to the surface i just get the sense that there's a lot that's kind of being excavated and it's like you may have buried certain things, old memories, past lives. These could be soul gifts um, that you weren't fully privy to. And it's like now it's coming up to the surface. Now you're ready. Yeah, and solar plexus. This ace of swords, this sword is cutting away anything that still stole or has and is currently stealing your light and your personal power. The frequency of the solar plexus chakra, the yellow flower of life, supports our sense of self, our personal power and our willpower, as well as our knowing of who we are and what our contribution is to the whole. You're seeing yourself in a higher light. There, there is an element of self-love or an upgrade or expansion to how you see yourself and how you love yourself, how you speak to yourself, what you think you deserve as well. It's like wanting more for self. And with fertility, it's like these, this judgment, like reflection, going within, healing is going to make it very clear to you um, what's next, <clears throat> what you want to give birth to. The frequency of fertility invites us to be more open, more courageous, more creative, and more joyful than we were before. It activates the potential for something beautiful to grow from our consciousness into a new and grander expression of ourselves. So again, like there is this sense of new ideas being birthed, new directions, you know, positive new beginnings. Like I just keep getting that sense of being on a new trajectory. You also have miracle above the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you're going to enter a time where you're so lucky, you're so blessed. The frequency of miracle supports our belief in ourselves as a part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible. I feel like you're stripping away the energies that again keep you stuck or keep you small it's like you're stepping into um limitless potential unlimited um unlimited manifestation abilities uh blessings like it things are about to really change for you but with releasing sitting above eight of wands there's energies that you had to release and heal in order to create some of these changes and look 32 33 like stepping stones purification spiritual cleansing letting go yeah, I feel with that card again. It's like allowing that river to wash clean, like allowing your emotions to flow, allowing old energies. You may be letting go of things, people, situations, beliefs. 
But with root portal, like you're coming out really strong. You have 33 twice. Look, three, 33, 33. You may see repeating threes, but again, I'm getting that sense of like creative potential. Um, it's like you're tapping into a new level of creativity, of expression, of um, ideas, of communication. And we have vitality sitting above the Knight of Wands, stability and survival, fearful. You're moving out of fear and coming into a place of unconditional love. And from that space, you're able to really manifest effortlessly. And you also have Ice Queen above five of coins um, and 22. So you have all these master numbers, introspection, self-analysis, fortitude. So again, be gentle with yourself if right now you are needing time to go within. You're discovering the truth about yourself, about your personal power, and about life, what you can create, and what truly brings you joy. It's like you're setting yourself free from old illusions, and I feel like it's going to open up the potential for miracles to manifest in this new cycle. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates, and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hi, group four. Okay, so I feel for this group, there's healing here around masculine energy with the father. This could be your inner um, masculinity or the inner masculine. This could be healing from a past relationship with a masculine uh, or an authority figure, like a father figure, an authority figure. But there's some sort of healing here around masculine energy. And for some of you, the purpose of this with this four of wands is to have, uh, for some of you, maybe a beautiful connection or partnership, or it's going to improve your relationships in general. Some of you, this nine of swords, there could be beliefs or thoughts around, I'm thinking of masculine systems with the four of coins, like, um, you know, systems we would identify as you know, economic systems that have their values in, you know, kind of masculine energy or examining for some of you, maybe looking at, you know, how can I align my life more so with my divine feminine principles? This could be in the form of, you know, when I think of divine masculine energy, I think of, um, you know, action oriented or, you know, really seeking in the physical world, making things happen versus magnetizing. There's a sense, some of you may be stepping into an energy of greater rest and aligning your inner realm with what you want. And you may, you may be feeling less of a drive or impulse towards physical action or striving or, you know, whatever it may be, success, acquisition, um, building, like there's a sense of kind of taking a softer approach a gentler approach. Some of you, I feel, are moving from a period of time where you had to be in more of the divine masculine energy and now you're kind of softening into that divine feminine energy. And obviously we all have a balance of both so that you can manifest more readily, so you can receive. Obviously divine feminine is receptive energy. So there's some sort of shift or a change in your approach to life that's going to enable you to receive more. Yeah, and it's like your cup, with this Ace of Cups, I'm hearing like cup overflowing. So there's a sense that through this process, you're like, it's like things start to overflow and then they start to be drawn to you or come into your physical. Rather than, again, I'm hearing, but you're not going out and seeking for it. So there's some sort of drastic change in your pattern or approach, but it's like it enables you to receive more. And we also have here like four, four, four. And again, when I think of the four, the number four, I think of practic practicality, stability, you know, more building in the physical. But I'm hearing like in the past, you may have felt like, why do I keep receiving less than what I deserve? And it's like, there's a sense of when we go out trying to get something or make something happen, there's always fear behind it, right? Like if I'm going out and I feel you know, I need to, you know, I need to make sure I get this job. I may need a job. I may need that abundance. But if I'm in that vibration, I'm afraid deep down that I won't receive it. There's a lack of faith or trust behind it. Or with relationship, I feel like, oh, I've got to put myself on every dating app. I've got to really like try and find someone. It's because deep down, I'm worried if I do not do so, 
I will end up single or I, or I will remain single. So it's like looking at some of these beliefs. And again, I'm not, I'm not encouraging people to take no action ever, but it's like maybe you were so attached or holding on too tight and too focused on action that it's actually slowing down your manifestations with the Knight of Coins because Spirit is saying, or it's limiting what can come in for you to what you can perceive on the 3D level where Spirit is saying, look at what we have behind the curtain. Look at all these blessings. Like we don't have the four of cups. We have the four of wands, you know, like there's a, there's a leveling up, but in order to receive more, you have to believe you can, or you have to believe that these blessings and these, um, potential manifestations are here waiting for you. And again, you will still be prompted to take action, but you will be taking action in a more gentle inspired way like it's not a set there's no sense of like needing to make it happen or needing to force these outcomes in any way so there is this sense of trust faith peace you know allowing things to flow i also think for some of you with the nine of swords four of coins if you've struggled with holding on to things like attachments this could be attachment to people material possessions it's like you're redefining how you move through the world. You're moving more lightly. I keep hearing a softer touch. Mm. You're also aligning like your finances, your career relationships with your inner values. Perhaps you're realizing like, oh, some of these systems or this workplace or this friend doesn't really map on to what I value or what I believe is is abundant internally at a soul level. Maybe your definition of abundance isn't really matching what the world is telling you. This can be the energy of, okay, I've ticked certain boxes, I've attained things for myself, but I still don't feel fulfilled because what I've attained isn't meaningful to me on a soul level. That's the energy. With Ace of Cups, so you have Portal, Doors are Opening, You Decide, Rewards, Wild Card. So again, like there's new potentials coming in for you, but some of them are unexpected. And that's why Spirit is wanting you to open your mind and be and allow things to really flow because what comes in is better than you could have even imagined. And I think spirit with this nine of swords is helping you weed out the thoughts, the cognitions, the beliefs, the old systems or old energies that aren't conducive to the new that wants to come in for you. Yeah, your life is a canvas. I see you taking a more creative spontaneous approach to life for some of you. You may be dropping into the divine feminine because you're literally wanting to create something from scratch you're manifesting something from scratch your life is a canvas artist manifestation creative accountability with the four of pentacles beneath beneath it it's like going from being overly practical and concerned with practical things and yeah you still we do live in a physical realm so it is important to consider those things but it's like going from that to you know more joy or putting more value on okay where's my happiness what do i love to do what inspires me like i see you Stepping into an energy that is more expressive, more joyful. You have consciousness. I just heard in order to receive the four of wands, which can just be really beautiful um, connections in general, you have to believe it's possible in terms of consciousness. You have to hold that in consciousness. Okay, so we have the frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all the multidimensional aspects that show up so we can include them in our reality. Spirit wants you to dream again is what I'm hearing. Feel, feeling safe to dream again. Feeling as though like you can trust what's meant for you. You have root chakra. The frequency of the root chakra, the red flower of life, stimulates passion, supports our sense of security on this physical plane, both in our bodies and in the physical world. You're redefining your definition of security. You're not looking for security in the 3D, in the physical yeah, and with healing, there is a little bit of healing that's taking place. We have 29, master number 11. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Yeah, it's like you're listening to your inner realm. You're listening more so to your body, your soul. If you felt in the past like you were valuing something and now you're thinking, you know, that doesn't really resonate with me anymore or... Maybe my, I'm hearing like your attention or your focus may be shifting what you think is valuable or what you want to drive and place your energy and attention on is shifting. 
with harmonic resolutions. Again, negativity, anger, transmutation. Some of you are definitely healing. I, I'm hearing the root chakra. The root and the sacral is what I just heard. But it's like there could be some forgiveness. There could be some anger linked to, again, authority, um, different systems. This could be like a school system. Uh, it could be like a parent, parental figure, a teacher. Um, th there could be some healing, again, around things that... Re things that represent masculine energy or a literal masculine and definitely inner masculine is shifting and healing as well into like a more um, balanced divine masculine energy emergence look you have 11 again 11 11 creation resurrection magician so you have creation and creativity twice so I'm getting this really strong energy that spirit is really wanting you to step into a new creative path. For some of you, there could be a new direction for you in terms of your career, your finances, your journey that is creative, but it doesn't make you feel as secure and safe financially uh, in a material sense. So there could be this kind of dilemma between head and heart. And again, sometimes we do have, you know, monetary or physical considerations that we do you know, we may need to look into or emphasize temporarily, but it's like spirit is wanting you to trust that you can feel safe kind of stepping into these energies. And you have challenges above 10 of wands, blocks, fears, and negativity, betrayal. Yeah. Like again, and it could be betrayal linked to a masculine or even like feeling cheated. I just heard feeling cheated by the system. And it's like, you know, they, that energy where we go through the motions, we tick all the boxes, all the things that we're told or, you know, and again, I'm massively generalizing, but the things like, oh, you know, career check, house check, whatever it may be, relationship check. But then we don't feel happy. Like it's almost like an anger or betrayal. Like this isn't speaking to me. I want something different for my life. And again, that won't resonate for everyone, but I do feel for this group, there's like, um, you're moving into an energy that is a more creative, more free flowing, receptive, like that divine feminine energy. And that may trigger you to really reassess things. There's some healing happening as well internally, but it may also lead you in a new direction. And spirit is wanting you to be open to ideas and opportunities that are coming up for you. So that's all I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I hope you have a beautiful day.